Hello everyone, welcome to Energy Quick Takes for Thursday, March the 17th, 2022. I am Omono Okonkwa. Let's update you on oil and gas prices at this time. Today, the London Brent crude is trading at 99.63 USD per barrel. Meanwhile, natural gas is seen at 4.74 USD per MMBTU as of 4 a.m. GMT. In Nilongwe, Malawi, a liter of gasoline cost 1,150 Malawian kwacha. Meanwhile, in Victoria Seychelles, a liter of gasoline cost 22.12 Seychelles oil rupee. In headline energy news this Thursday, Top oil and gas lender, South Africa's Standard Bank, has said it plans to raise 20 billion USD by 2026 to fund renewable energy projects. The bank also ruled out funding for new coal-fired power plants, as well as most oil-fired plants, except in limited circumstances. The decision was taken by the bank as a part of plans to reach net zero by 2050. Burundi's Tempo Power is seeking partners for the construction of two hydropower plants with a combined capacity of 22 megawatts. The investment required for the project is 65 million USD. The German Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development through the Development Bank of Southern Africa will fund the implementation of a renewable energy supply link to the Gautrain rail system in South Africa. Also, South African Breweries has signed a power purchase agreement with Bio2Watt for the supply of biogas produced renewable electricity. A waste to energy plant will be built by Bio2Watt. The capacity is 4.8 megawatts. In other energy news this Thursday, Nigeria's Rural Electrification Agency has signed an agreement with B-Box for the installation of solar home systems for about 77,000 people in the country. On energy data from Senegal, by 2025, the country is looking at increasing its renewable energy share to over 40%. Current renewable energy share is about 23%. On the Energy Quick Takes calendar, the Sustainable Energy for All Forum will hold in Kigali, Rwanda from May 17 to 19, 2022. To conclude today's podcast, energy stakeholders around the world have called on Europe to consider looking to African countries like Nigeria, Angola, Tanzania, and Senegal to supply both piped natural gas and LNG exports in the long term to countries in the EU. And that's it on today's episode of Energy Quick Takes. We thank you for listening. To listen to previous episodes of this podcast, please visit our website at FrontierAfricaReports.com. The podcast is also available on Apple, Amazon Music, Spotify, as well as Frontier Africa Reports social media accounts, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Twitter. You will also find me on LinkedIn at Omano Okonkwo. Bye for now and have a wonderful day, everyone. Mm-hmm.